Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals. Welcome back to my channel and another weekly vlog. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. It is the 5th of September today. I am on nights this week. Um, I actually went straight to sleep <laughs> last night at a normal time, which is not normally what I do. Normally I try and stay up as late as possible and then sleep in as late as possible and then just go to work and feel a bit tired in the morning. Um, however, I was so tired last night. I was completely and utterly drained. I just felt really sad and down and I thought I will go to sleep and get up at a normal time and then try and take a nap on Monday during the day, which is what I'm doing today. Um, so I got up at seven, did my morning routine, got a bit distracted and played in my memory planner for a little bit, um, finished off a little bit of my VA prep that I hadn't finished off yesterday um, and here we are. It is now like 10.30 because I've been procrastinating hard today um, and I don't know why because I've got quite a lot to do um, but I am just going to sit down and try and get in as much designing on Silhouette done for the release on Friday when you're watching this oh my god um, the release on Friday um, for the PVC sale because it is the PVC sale it's starting on Friday so a lot of this vlog is going to be PVC sale prep um, so that is the plan and um, so without any further ado i'm gonna get on with designing i haven't decided i normally just have youtube on in the background while i'm designing and stuff but i'm really into vampire diaries i've just started re-watching it um at the moment and i kind of want to put that on and i don't know whether that might help motivate me but um we'll see i might get too distracted by it as well so i might set like a half hour timer and do youtube for half an hour and if i'm getting on well i'll then switch to vampire diaries Anyhow, I'm gonna pass over now to a, um, oh my God, I've just thought of something. I need to do this on my to-do list. I need to write that down whilst I remember. Anyhow, I'm gonna pass over now to the computer screen where I'm going to be designing the new releases that are coming out on Friday before the sale. Hello, it is Friday and um, obviously I did lots of designing on Monday, took my nap and stuff and then since then I've basically been on nights. I finished my last night shift this morning, um, I came home, I caught up in my journaling planner which I haven't ever shared and I don't think I will. I might share like some pre-stickered pages because sometimes I pre-sticker a couple of pages at a time. Um, but it's basically a place for me to like get thoughts and feelings down on paper so it's quite personal um, but I'm using journaling kits in it and I'm really loving it at the moment um, so that's what that is um, then I had my shower and I've done my morning routine it is now like 12, 11, 13 <laughs> and I just need to get on with the day I've just made a list of the things I need to do today which are essentially um, there's quite a lot I want to try and pull my stickers for my plan with me that I need to film tomorrow, I want to do orders, I need to check I finished all the designing the other day because I think I did but I can't quite remember. Um, I want to print and foil that if I can, I need to sort out the video, um, the sped up version of my uh, 
sticker organisation video um, I need to sort out some presents for some people and I want to catch up in my planner that's kind of it, um, it's quite a lot <laughs> um, because I'm also meant to be having date night tonight I don't know whether we will or not because it depends how tired I am and I don't want it to be just like an exhausted doing nothing lying on the sofa at date night um, but we'll see um, how that goes I think for now what am I going to do now? I'm just, I've just turned my computer on to um, sort out uh, to check whether I finished the designing that's what I was going to say um, I was going to look at recent files yeah, I think I did because I've got Halloween bougie all set up and I think that was the thing I wasn't certain whether I'd finished um, oh it looks like I haven't quite finished the clear um, page of the twinkle I haven't um, done the tinies so I needed to do that today um, I thought I had finished it to be fair but maybe I just haven't printed it to PDF anyway so I think I'm going to sort that out first and then I'm probably going to just try and do orders I don't have that many and they're mostly twinkles which actually I think because I accidentally made four of I can get straight out um, so they can get out and then I can carry on getting ready for the PVC sale which is obviously on Friday when you're seeing this video so that's really exciting um, yeah I have finished it I just haven't printed it to PDF beautiful I forgot my other exciting news I um, ordered the dividers for um, the planner today I paid for those and decided to go for it um, I also that's what else needs to go on my list I need to um, message a couple of people about some other things that I'm doing sort of behind the scenes but will make the shopping experience a lot easier and hopefully my life a lot easier um, I think I'm going to change the wax over in both my wax melters um, actually this is still quite smelly this is a Yankee candle like tropical one so I think I'm going to use leave that there but I'm going to change the wax melter in my um, living room and pop those on and I will show you what I'm going to use um, the living room wax melter is actually still pretty smelly as well but I thought I'd show you the scents I've got burning melting at the moment and um, so the one in my office is this Yankee candle oh my god focus thank you um, Yankee Candle Tropical Fruit Punch and it definitely just smells exactly like a tropical fruit punch it's really gorgeous um, Beth of previous Colourful & Co now the Lifestyle Cube on Instagram bought me this and then in the living room I have Pink Lemonade from the Lemonade Collection Is this one here I think from To The Moon and Back Shop um, which is just a really nice like lemonade pure lemonade um, with a bit of fruit in it it is mostly lemon is what i get from it though um though i don't know whether that's just like overwhelm from the other melts no i do definitely get like more blueberry from the blueberry one what's the other one actually it's kind of more fruity um it's like pink fruity <laughs> i don't know what the exact sun notes are of it but it's kind of like strawberry raspberry fruity so yeah that's what i got melting today let me know down below whether you want me to include like what I'm melting in my wax melters in these vlogs. So my last sheet of stickers is cutting as you can hear in the background. Um, the rest of the orders are actually already packed. Um, I'm just waiting for this one sheet of stickers. <laughs> Hopefully it's cut alright because otherwise I have to foil it and cut it again but that would be fine if I need to. Um, I have this one order right that's from somebody that lives and she's a repeat customer and she literally lives about 10-15 minutes away from me and I used to when she placed her first order I used to live drive sorry drive past her house practically to get to work and I was always really tempted to deliver it by hand but that just seemed really creepy I don't know what do people think is that really creepy or would you like love it because your delivery got to you sooner like and I now don't go that way very often like I go that way to see my grandparents but really I go towards um, work now not the other way which she lives in the other direction to work and um, there's like the way where I live there's like a main road that leads most places um, and you sort of turn right out of our area to get to um, work and she like you turn left to go to the town she lives in um, but yeah I don't know I don't know what the etiquette is with these things I mean I'm sure she gets them like the day after I post them most of the time anyway because she lives so close um, this sheet of stickers is finished cutting let's quality control it with you and we'll see if we can get it sent out oh my god this page really curled rude cut lines are good 
healing is good so I just need to check the foiling which looks good from here but I'll go check under the studio lights and the other sheet that I don't actually need but I will quality control now anyway looks good too Ugh, new mat time always makes your sheets curl even like if you're really careful but at least things cut really well when you have new mats so I can turn the laminator off for now I feel like this vlog so far is just me sitting in this same seat updating you um but that isn't because I have put some design work in. Um, so I got the orders done, they're ready to go to the post office. My mum's popping around later so I'm hoping she'll drop them at the post office for me. Um, <laughs> I'm in pyjamas, okay. Um, she's coming around to talk about some guide planning which we'll probably do shortly. Um, she said she'll be here in about half an hour. Uh, I got the video edited to the, the speed plan with me and I think it's going to come out on Friday. I think I'm going to do the long one on the today friday and then the uh, did i say friday i meant sunday the long one on the friday which is the normal video and then the quick one will come out on sunday um so if people want to watch that they can watch it um i think i'm gonna try and buy some people some gifts and sort out some gifts um that are nearly ready it's got a couple of birthdays um in the next couple of weeks that i need to sort out um things for and yeah that's kind of where i'm at um, I can't really share that because I probably can. Eh, I, d I just don't think gift buying is particularly interesting for other people. I might tell you what I bought. <laughs> um, it's my, it's Sophie from Rhyme Plans' birthday, my sister's birthday and my brother's birthday. So lots of birthdays coming up. And what is wrong with my ruler? So yeah, I'm going to try and sort those out. And will I or shall I eat some lunch? undecided maybe i'll eat lunch anyway i'll check back in with you in a bit so i just got home it's like quarter to quarter past three um and i haven't eaten since like i got home from work really um i ate some bread at work um but i've not eaten since so i'm gonna have some instant noodles which is what i'm preparing now and whilst i eat that i think i'm going to watch an episode of the vampire diaries but then that will um, not take the entire time. So what I'll do is I'll try and pull stickers for next week's plan with me as well. Um, which is my sister and Sophie's birthday week, which I'm excited for. Because um, I'm using my friend's kit. Um, well, I need to make myself some little things because of the kit it is. But that's fine. It's um, a pan of Pixie Co. She now does like a little things add on. But she didn't at this point. I think it's Planet Pixie Co. Anyway, I'm using that for Sophie's birthday. Um, so I'm going to pull stickers for that. Um, I'm just going to put my noodles in the microwave. Give me two minutes and I'll be back with you. So yeah, I've put on an episode of The Vampire Diaries. But I am saying now to you guys that I will come back immediately after the episode of Vampire Diaries. And get on with foiling. Um, printing and foiling new releases because so I really need to get the new releases done preferably tomorrow and we are going to Soshan's cousin's birthday thing they're them twin girls they are turning 14 15 I want to say they're turning 14 but they look older than that to me I don't know I find age is really hard to tell um, so that's my noodles made so I'm gonna go and eat these and enjoy vampire berries so it's now like 4.30 and I am about to start cutting the foil and stuff for um, new releases. Uh, so I have 10 sheets releasing, so I have um, 44 sheets to make I think. Um, so 11 in each foil colour because there's 10 releases but I do two of the um, full width bottom washi because the full width bottom washi, there's only two on a page. So. Um, I like to make four of everything just in case some are oops um, so I'm going to get on with cutting the foil I'll probably um, just share the foil peel um, at the end because I think I'm going to have to do it in one big block and if I have to do it in one big block um, it's quite nice to film and it's quite satisfying <laughs> um, so I'll probably pop that put in that sped up in a minute um, but for now I am just going to get on and watch some YouTube while I go so I'm back with the foil peel but um, I forgot about 
the freebies and the twinkle and there was so much more to make than the 44 sheets that I claimed. Um, the 44 is just the new releases, um, which 44 sheets is not too bad, but this was more like 70, nearly 80 I think. Um, so there's that and oh my god I am obsessed with how these have come out. Oh, I don't know what the, oh my god, why can I not get the foil? Shining, it's shining in person, but I can't get it to show on camera because I'm, the, the, I'm in natural light, but the sun is going down. It is like late, but honestly, these are stunning. Oh, fucking hell, I am excited. But yeah, so I have been foiling for a very long time. It feels like forever and, I've got a dodge batch of silver foil and I wonder how many of these sheets are misfoiled because I think it's probably most of them um, and I think I might need to change out my roll and possibly make a complaint because like the edges are just not foiling correctly at all. This one might be alright. Nope. Nope. Um, which probably means I need to remake all of the silver stuff, which is shit. Um, and hope that my replacement foil is better. Mm. And one of the foils, I think, I can't remember which one it was. I think it might have even been silver. One of them creased absolutely tons. Um, and I was just getting pissed off. I think it was silver, to be fair. Um, so there's that. There's going to be a reasonable amount to remake, but that's kind of fine. And I'm sorry that you can hear the um, laminator in the background. It is cooling down. So yeah, I'm going to peel all of this foil off. Um, which we're getting there. We're not at all. We've done two foil colours, two and a half foil colours. Um, and there is another one to do. And then all of the stuff that I'd forgotten about initially. Um, I'm so glad I had that trick of like double sided foiling because otherwise this would have taken me twice as long literally and I'm not about that life. Um, I also don't know who's going to buy awesome stuff in holographic but you never know some people might. Um, oh, but honestly I am obsessed. I am so happy with these designs. Sometimes I like I looked at them and I was like mm, I'm not sure I love them. Um, after design finishing designing them but now I'm like nope nope this is a good this is a good collection and I'm really excited to use the um, foil mixed like floral sheet and stuff for a bit of decorative and then these so these coppers are the freebie so this is the 150 pound freebie I think and then the 100 pound free no yeah 100 pound freebie is that page this is the 50 pound freebie I think or is that 20? 25 pound freebie this is the 50 pound freebie um 50 pound freebie yeah that's 25 pound i think um you get so you get the icons at uh with all orders the scripts at 25 the full boxes at 50 the rest of a base twinkle at so this is the icon sheet um rest of base twinkle at um a hundred and then um 150 you get the this is the other half of the base twinkle and um, 150 you get the bougie um, all totals will be at a discount and before shipping um so yeah oh my god obsessed sorry this is the Halloween twinkle that will be out on the Saturday, on Saturday of the sale. And I am literally obsessed with this. Oh my god. I can't wait to use this. And that is my whole foil peel. And I need to remove all of my corners, which I'm not excited for. Good morning, happy Saturday. I'm updating you in here because I don't know whether you can hear in the background, but my machines are already cutting. Um, so after I foiled new releases last night, um, I cooked dinner with Sosh, we ate dinner and then we had a little laze on the sofa, had some cuddles, because we've barely seen each other this week, um, and I 
caught up in my planner. I still need to pull stickers for this week of memory, um, for memory spreads, um, but that's fine. But other than that, I'm pretty much caught up in my planner, which is nice, because um, I always get behind on nights. Um, other than that, basically today is going to be a big cutting day, trying to get new releases finished. Um, and then this afternoon we are going to Leeds for a family party. Um, probably be most of the afternoon and evening, so I don't know how much I'll get done today, but if I could just get this first lot of new releases uh, print it, uh, cut, and then I can just work out what I need to remake um, tomorrow, that would be ideal. We'll see how we get on. I've got the tiniest cutting now because they take for frickin' ever to cut. Um, so I thought I'd start those off before saying hello to the vlog. Um, I probably won't share much of the cutting process. I might share a couple of little bits, but you saw quite a lot of it last week. Um, so there's just no need to share again, or even earlier this week, I can't actually remember. Anyhow, that's the plan for the day, and I don't know how much of it I'm gonna share, but we'll see. Um, so I'll check back in with you later. What I can share is today's wax. So in the living room, we have blackberry jam for, from To The Moon and Back melting. Oh my God, focus. Which is this huge, huge, like it's actually giant melt. For, for comparison, that's a shop cup, like a normal size shop cup, which I get four melts out of. So this is huge, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, really fruity, but a little bit sweet blackberry. Um, obsessed with that. And that's from To The Moon and Back. And then here, the, in my office, we have, oh my god, zucchini bread and sugar cookery royale from Fantasy Wax Melts, um, which is just the most beautiful bakery scent I have ever smelled. And look at that hollow foil. It's like brown holographic glitter. And it just, oh, it really, I, I absolutely adore this scent. I'm obsessed and I'm so glad so she decided to have the blackberry jam in the office in the living room and this in my office because I'm just yeah loving this scent okay so I have my massive stack of cutting there's also the twinkles as well and I've pulled out anything that's miscut already so this is all the stuff that's just cut okay and I'm gonna go through it now and make sure that everything is foiled okay I know a lot of the silver isn't gonna be because of the problems with foiling I had um that's oops um but I sort it out into like one of each foil colour into this pile and the rest into this pile because this is my pile to go away and this is my pile for video and flash photographing um, and then I'll go through the pile to video and photograph and make sure everything is foiled well uh, sorry everything is uh, present and correct for example I can tell you now the silver of this is missing because it miscut uh, the cut lines it just wasn't the kiss cut wasn't good enough and I wasn't happy with it um, and then I'll go through the oops file and pull out stuff for myself which is one of my favourite things to do um, so that is the tiniest done and I'm just going to go through like this entire stack and get that done I probably will speed up the rest of this um, because you don't need to listen to me water on um, about it whilst I do it um, and I don't really have anything else to say or update but yeah I do I check every single sheet and um, see so yeah, a lot of the silver is going to be misfoiled I'm sure of it um because a it was being dodged in that it was crinkling and b it was being dodged in that the edges weren't foiling very well um but hopefully it will be okay there was like the tiniest black speck on here I think that's probably I can't even find it again. I think it's fine. Um, but yeah, I am. Um, I'm pretty high maintenance on my oops. Like if there's, where is this sticker gone? Like seriously, where? Just why? What? Where? If there's one that is like oops, other than this is all not foiled hugely well. I think that sheet is actually there. Mm, I'm not sure about these corners. The um, I think the design is too little. Slash, my toner is running out, so um, that could be the problem. So I will. Oh god, these are all loops. Yeah, so all of those are oops. Um, the hollow's okay actually. The hollow's pretty good. Um, if the new toner doesn't fix that problem, 
what I'll probably do is not release that or redesign it um, because that is not good enough. I am obsessed with this design. Fucking silver. Ugh, sorry. I'm really annoyed about the silver. Um, is that good enough? No. <laughs> Um, but hopefully it will be okay and I won't have to make everything again in silver but I will not be surprised if I do at all just the way it is isn't it anyhow I'm going to speed through the rest of this because you really don't need to listen to me blabber on about nothing um, my new toner at least is arriving today I um, essentially right actually I'll tell you a story um, I ordered the new toner ages ago and they were like oh try our own brand you won't notice a difference and I was like I'm pretty sure I will I use it for something very specific and off-brand toners have definitely not worked for me in the past and they were like no no it will still work it'll be good you'll be absolutely fine it won't be a problem we guarantee it you can return it and um we have like a no a guarantee on it and um, so if you don't like it you can just send us it back Shockingly enough, it didn't work. Um, it just, um, so it foiled not terribly, but it didn't foil well. And, um, the, but the real problem was that it, um, seriously, what is wrong with this silver foil ball? Or the real problem, I don't think there's any point remaking these until I've got the new toner, which is meant to be coming today, but that's kind of a problem because I really want to be ready for new releases. Um, I was saying, um, so I got it, didn't shock, shock horror, it didn't work. So I messaged them and they were like, yeah, you just need to return it to this dress. This was like just before our wedding. And then I forgot. Um, so I didn't return it. And now we're like three months later and I still have this terrible printer toner. And they sent me two of it because I paid for the branded one and their equivalent. You can get like two for the price of one branded one. Like one high yield and one not high yield. Um, so now I'm stuck with tons of their toner that I can't use. Um, and I can't return because I've left it too long. Um, I did the same with, um, I ordered the wrong, honestly all of the silver I'm going to have to remake. Um, I did the same with my laminating pouches for covers. I um sorry, these are not great foiled and I'm getting pissed off. Um I bought A5 by accident and um, forgot to return them in oh didn't return them in time. Oh there's quite a lot missing. What have I done with my I'm missing some of the new releases. Um, oh my god, look how many oops there are, that's so depressing. That's probably like half of them are oops because of how bad like the silver is and the toner running low and oh. Yeah, seriously, I think it's about half are oops, that's so upsetting. Um, anyway, I am really gonna stop chatting to you now. Yeah, I did this, sorry, I did the same with the laminate pouches. I ordered um, a five by mistake and forgot to return them, so yeah. I'm gonna not having any sped up footage because that was enough of me chatting and quality controlling. So after I'd finished the quality control I decided to do some oops sorting of oops bags and I also um, combined all the freebies for um, like the swap freebies for the first 20 orders placed in the sale and um, I'll show those on Friday's video. Um, I then sorted through all of my oops um, and I've sorted it into categories to make um, oops bags up um, because I tend to do themed oops bags I just find they sell better um, to be fair, the thing that sells the best best is my um, five oops bags for the price of four. Um, but oops bags during the sale on the... I was going to do it throughout the sale, but I might just release oops bags on the Sunday. I might not, I haven't decided yet. Anyway, um, there'll be buy through oops bags of any kind and get a free oops bag. Um, it will probably be not be a specified oops bag, it'll probably be a mixed oops bag, um, but it depends kind of how much I make of what, um, but we'll see. <laughs> Anyhow, um, 
so I want to finish making those up so that I've got the quantity sorted for the sale. I've actually taken Oops bags out of the shop for a few days whilst I um, resort out quantities because I actually destroyed all of the ones I had um, because I just wanted to start again on a clean slate and with new cellos because um, I hated the cellos they were in. Um, but I need to wait for my new ones to come. Then we went to the um, my Sojin's cousin's um, birthday party. They were 14 today. Um, so we had, went and chatted with his family and had pizza. They got Domino's, but it was on like a tortilla base. It was really weird. I've never had anything like the kit before. Um, it was quite tasty. It was just strange. Um, so there was that. Um, and then we just got home and we did some singing to tunes on the way home. Um, so we did lots of singing along to things, including some ABBA, um, some Bon Jovi, <laughs> just, you know, classic songs really. Um, so it's quite a lot to do tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow I need to get all of the new releases finished, photographed, get the two videos filmed that I need to get filmed, um, and see how far I can get with Oops Bags. We need to book our honeymoon. So it's gonna be a big day tomorrow. So I will check back in with you in the morning because I need to go to bed because I'm starting to get really awake because my body is still on nights. So I need to go to bed before I'm really awake. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, I am just doing some foiling for new releases and I am obsessed with this silver foil. This roll of silver foil is foiling so much better than the last roll. Although it is having to go through twice for some reason, best name to itself. Just some rolls of foil I just dodge. I need to sit down and make a list for today. Um, that's probably my next job and I'll probably take you along for that little ride because um, I feel like I've got quite a lot to do and my father-in-law is now coming over um, to help so she install the manifold um, which is really lovely of him but is a bit last minute for my liking <laughs> and it's fine though um, I'm really glad he's coming to help with it because it means we don't have to pay someone to install the manifold um, but yeah Kiara are you gonna come and walk you can't come near the foil you know that um, please don't walk over my stuff um but i've got quite a lot to do today including some little jobs that i keep forgetting i need to do today um so it's going to be a bit of a day i think um i've got a lot to do um i've also designed a really flexible planner layout which is literally like a column with a halfway point um marked and i've done it in an a5 and I don't know whether to bring it to the shop. I know there's one person that would absolutely love me to bring it to the shop. And I might do, um, to be fair. I might bring it to the shop. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, basically, I've designed this because I want to make Soch a memory planner of our married life together. Um, so it's going to be um, the first year. It's going to be a memory planner of the first year of our married life essentially is the plan, the idea, um, and I think it'll be really cute. But I'm on the lookout for mini kits for it, um, and I've never been a mini kit buyer, or like not even a mini kit, just like smaller kits, um, so like three, four page kits rather than seven, eight page kits. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't really know, like, I know my tried and trues that do it, so like I know Planner Face has a mini kit, um, so if you've got any suggestions for me, please drop them down below, um, because I don't have a clue. Um, but yeah, um, so that'd be good. So I'm going to shut up now, finish foiling, and then I will be back with you to write my to-do list for the day. So I didn't film making my to-do list because um, I realised I was cutting and there was no decent time to do it when you'd have been able to hear me talk. Um, it's actually quite a lot later in the day. It's like afternoon, mid-afternoon, and I've like completely forgotten to vlog anything else. So I got the new releases all done. I then um, sorted out something for a secret project, which I will show in a moment, um, which is essentially, I'm making, he's not here at the minute, so that's why I can say this. Um, he's making, I'm making Soch a, for our first wedding anniversary present, I'm making him a planner of um, the first year, a memory planner of the first year we've been um, married. Um, so I was planning out kits for that and buying the kits for that. So I've done that, um, so I'll show you my little spreadsheet that sh talks about which kits I'm going to use, etc. Um, done my, as much of my token photos as I can, um, but I can't do any more at the moment because I need 
to film first but Sosha's dad is currently here and I can't film with him here really or I can but I just feel a bit weird doing it. Um, hung out some washing, did some secret stuff, I can't even remember what, really what else. I've done some like random admin for guides and stuff. So this is what I have left on my list, random card sticker on there. Um, which is listing photos, which is probably what I'm gonna do next. I need to design the Booze and the Pews logo for my sister, filming, tidying, which again, I'll do with Soch when his dad's gone, um, and hang up the washing, so, and finish off the VA prep, which I can't do until I finish filming. So, I'm kinda stuck. <laughs> Other than doing the listing photos and the Booze and the Pews logo, but I really don't wanna do the Booze and the Pews logo. Why is my life? <laughs> but I need to. So, yeah. Um, let me turn you around and I will show you the spreadsheet. So part of the reason that, that I haven't um, been... I should probably mute you guys. Part of the reason I haven't been updating as much is because I am body doubling with Sophie and Beth and I was with Amy as well earlier. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Beth is sorting out the stickers. <laughs> so um, there's that. Um, so... Let's just zoom you in a little bit more. Cool. So, um, as for the spreadsheet, so this is my Instagram photos spreadsheet of the kits. I might even zoom you in even more. Whee! That's as much as I can zoom in. But, where is this? There we go. Um, so, this is the dates. This is whether anything happened that week. Dates, anything happened that week. Um, whether I've got an idea or a plan for the kit, the shop the kit's from, and whether I've brought it or owned it or what. So, the idea so far is our wedding week, I'm gonna use the leftovers of my Colourful & Co trinket basket, um, which obviously I own. Mini Moon, I'm gonna use the rest of the six year freebies, which are the like camping walk ones from Planaface. Um, for this random week in June, I didn't really have anything that was particularly special or anything I could use for it, so I'm using um, Pride at Home, and I will do a kit lineup video with these in, I think, as well. Um, then the next week, Mum so she went to Les Mis with my mum and sister, um, so I'm going to use the theatre um, kit from that. Uh, for the July, I have nothing, so I'm just using a nice summerish kit from Strawberry Land Designs, which is Provenance. Um, we went to see Lightyear the following week, so I'm going to use Lightyear kit from Fantasy Science Store, um, then Fairy Garden from Colourful & Co for no real reason. <laughs> um, for a week that I wasn't feeling very well and we had quite a lazy day, I'm using Lazy Sunday from Strawberry Line Designs. Station's birthday, I'm using Appreciate from Planner Phase. Amy's wedding, I'm using the January Mystery from Robins Co. And then Allotment from Colourful & Co for a random week. March Mystery from Art & Food Festival um, from SVC, which Rach is kindly selling me. Um, then Foodie from... Um, PVC, I uh, know, PVC, um, paper chick plans, um, and but birthday butterfly for this week because of the birthday party we went to yesterday. Um, so yeah, I will do a proper thing, but that's just like how I'm planning it out. And um, so I just thought that might be interesting to some of you.
that is it for today's vlog. You've just watched me starting to put together some oops bags. Um, trying to work out exactly how to put together the tiny oops bags. Um, and I can't decide whether to mostly do um, themed ones or to do some more mixed ones. I think I'm mostly going to do themed ones to be honest. Um, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure yet. Um, so we'll see. Um, I've got the icons done and the tinies are sorted but um, there's about another two boxes of stuff to do so there's still lots to do um, which is fine um, and I will just make them up and sort them. I really could do it with my, um, what are words today, <laughs> with my cello bags arriving so I can get on with this a bit better. Um, I don't know whether to try and just, I think I might not have like more than one type of three more than three of each type of oops bag um, so I might just um, pull out some more to put in some mixed bags but we'll see anyway that's it for this video comment like down below if you enjoyed it then know this was a bit more of a chatty vlog rather than uh, me showing you what I was doing vlog let me know what you thought of that thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video bye